Our next guest is a renowned lifestyle fitness expert who has helped thousands of people around the world change their bodies and their lives. His latest book, Beat the Gym, Personal Trainer Secrets Without the Personal Trainer Price Tag, will hit bookstores in April. Tom Holland is back with us today to share some of those secrets. Welcome back, Tom. Thanks for having me back. It's great to have you, and uh, we were just we were just saying that was you on the cover. On the cover. <laughs> yeah. Very impressive. Apparently, it's it all works. It's a little works. embarrassing, but you know, I'm a fitness guy. I got to be in shape. You right? got to look yeah, good. I, yeah, you better look the part. All right, how do you get the most out of your workouts? You know, I wrote this book, Beat the Gym, because I go to the gym and I see the same people doing the same exercises, and they look exactly the same. So it's not enough to just go to the gym. You have to maximize your time. So one of the first things I say to do is our bodies adapt really quickly to any exercise we do. So okay. every workout, do one or two exercises you hate to do at the start of every workout. At the start. Because you're not going to do it at the end. Just get it over with. Because, I suppose that's a good idea, right? right? Because when you hate to do that, that movement, that's the movement that's going to change your body. Okay. So what's one, one exercise I you hate? I don't like doing squats. A lot of women hate squats, right? Squats are not bad for you. Bad squats are bad for you. Squats are one of the most effective leg exercises. So show me a squat. Let's all do a squat and we'll see. So nice and slowly and let's see. How's that? Wait, it's you... not bad. <laughs> squat. Okay. But one thing, so your knees are going forward a little bit. What I want you to try to do is try to keep your toes up as you're going down. So lift your toes and go down at the same time. Perfect. So that's one way. You want your weight on your heels, not okay. on your toes. And using your arms for balance is perfect. So nice and slowly. If you want to tone your butt, your legs, this squat is, is the way to go. Oh, my gosh. Right. So oh, don't be afraid How of the squat. How far apart should your legs be? It's a great question. Comfortable, you know? So a little wider than shoulder width, but there's the plie squat. So by changing the, the width of your feet, mm -hmm. you're going to change the exercise a little bit. It's a great question. So okay. that's, you can modify it. If you went really wide okay. and then went down, you're going to get the insides a little bit more. Okay. Oh. Great. All right. What else? What other tip do you have for us? Ab exercises. When does... Most, when do most people generally do their ab exercises? They wait till the end. Probably the end, or right? Or not at all. Or not at all. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, again, do a couple at the beginning. Do a couple in between every exercise if you want. Just mix it up. I always say, I try to do an ab exercise in between every exercise. So if I do a bicep curl, I do a set, I drop down, I do a set of crunches, jump back up, do another set of bicep curls, drop down, do a plank. So I'm trying try to, to do them in between. I, I'm trying to do the plank a lot better than I, I've been doing. I feel like I don't have the right form. So. Yeah, we'll talk about that. It's a great, great exercise. And when you do these exercises, what I want you to do is think about something called I call the King Tut Principle. So it's just time under tension. So show me oh. a squat again. So nice and simple, okay. you know, do your squat and up. Give me a couple reps. Not bad. Keep that weight on your heels, though. Okay. Now, what I want you to do now is slow it down. Try to go down on a four count. Whoa. And yeah. <laughs> it's that much harder, right? Absolutely. And it's that much more effective. And so if you slow it down, it's more effective. It's so much more effective. And one problem that people have, women lift weights that are too light, mm -hmm. and men lift weights that are too heavy. Women are afraid of getting bulky, and men, are afraid, and men want to look like Arnold. I say women are afraid of looking like Arnold, and men want to look like Arnold. <laughs> and neither is going to happen. So slowing it down... Time under tension. So I could sit here all day long and do a thousand squats. I'm not getting <laughs> anything out of this. Right. <laughs> yeah. But if I slow it down, you felt it right away, right? Absolutely. Now I'm engaging those muscles. Okay. So you've had some pretty interesting clients over the years. Oh Can gosh. you share any stories with us? So, you know, I wrote a book. It's not out yet called Sweat in the City Confessions of a New York City Personal Trainer. And it chronicles <laughs> like all these crazy clients. Changing the names to protect the guilty. But, um, I had one obsessive client, obsessive compulsive, who, I mean, strange, strange guy. I had to hand him the weights with the numbers pointing up. I had to stand in front of him in a certain way so he couldn't see himself in the mirror, didn't want to see himself, and just do all of these, you know, he would only use certain pieces of equipment. I had to wipe them down. Um, but everyone, as long as he came to the gym, I didn't care. I said, right. just show up and we'll do it. He lost 50 pounds. He lost 50 pounds. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. All right, well, it's a good thing to have those type of success stories yeah. as well. And one last thing we talk about is um, exercise is done incorrectly. That's probably one of the number one reasons people don't not only see results, but get hurt. So we're talking about a dumbbell row. Let me just give you a set. You'll be our demonstrator. And just give okay. me the dumbbell row. Show me how you would do it. This is Teresa's favorite thing to do. <laughs> Exercise. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's actually not very bad. That's, that's good. So if you can bend at the waist a little bit more and try to get down. And now relax that neck and pull straight up. So That's bend at the good. waist, okay. Bend at the waist, and she actually is doing, so most people are rounded. Mm -hmm. They'll have a rounded back. That's true. You have a flat back? That's very good. So Thank you're much you. better than you. <laughs> Thank you. So, be so you want to have a flat back. So it just becomes an arm exercise yeah. if I don't flatten my back. So I always say start with perfect posture, bend at the waist, mm -hmm. bend the knees. Perfect. And I'll pull out. And the knees. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Bend knees. Now you're, now you're engaging those back muscles, which are the ones you want to do. Okay. So focus on doing the exercises correctly, good form. And the ones you don't like to do it first. Do them first. Do ab exercises in between. Slow everything down. 
and really focus on form. That's why I say you don't have to, you know, trainers are expensive, mm -hmm. but getting one, two, three sessions with one to make sure you're doing exercises correctly are so, it's so worth it. All right, the best exercise you could do for yourself, what would that be? What would, what, what would you You know try? what the most effective ab exercise is? It's the, it's the bicycle crunch. And we were just talking about the plank. So why don't we have you do the plank? You want to okay. show us? Yeah. So show us the plank. Well, plank is, is what, one of the most. This is what I think is the plank. Yep. <laughs> and we we're talking, perfect. You could do it on your forearms or there. Just drop your hips about an inch or two okay. and tight abs. The thing about the plank that's so amazing is you're not only getting your abs, you're getting your lower back. Okay. So you're getting your entire quote unquote core at once. And I'm perfect. shaking. And you're done. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Better you do it than yeah. me, Jocelyn. And then just, we talked about the bicycle crunch yes. is just one of the most effective ab exercises. Just opposite elbow to opposite knee. Opposite. So and how long do you have to do okay, that for? Hold on. Until it hurts. Oh, <laughs> oh really? We're not, okay. we don't 60 really seconds. 60 seconds. Perfect. Wait. Exactly. Exactly. So now she's working all the muscles of her abs. You're twisting, so you're getting your obliques, you're getting your rectus abdominis, you're getting your lower abs. When you wow. lift your legs up off the ground, you're getting all three parts of your abs. It's hard, right? It's very hard. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to stop now. Yeah. Tell me, how do you get motivated? I mean, how do you... How do you Get in there the first day. Do you know what? That is the most important question. You hit the nail on the head. Motivation. We all know what to do. Mm -hmm. We just don't want to do it. Right. So how do we do it? <laughs> you have to pick a goal, and the goal has to be concrete. That's why I have so many of my clients do like a race. You know, they're going to run a 10K race, or they're going to do a bike ride for charity. Because then there's a reason to go to the hey, gym. You have to train for it, too. Yeah. There you go. You have to train that for it. Sense. So have a goal, have a goal date to achieve it, and that makes going to the gym that much more fun. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. You have a word. Yeah. Are you sweating, guys? <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Good plank, and that was very oh, good dumbbell. Yeah, thank you. Well, we want to give a special shout out to Brush and Floss Dental Center for bringing us this and all of our health and fitness segments each week. Uh, Tom, thank you so much. Thanks.